13 Action News. With that device, they could hit hundreds of cars in probably in about an hour. New outfits and new technology seem to be signatures in a string of car break-ins around the valley. One of our viewers gave us this surveillance video of the alleged thieves dressed in blue. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is live near Valley View and Star to explain what else makes these break-ins so mysterious. Masa. Steve, we'll take a look. This car was hit, but there's no broken glass or any scratches. Tonight, a warning about these wireless key systems. They not only make it easy for you to get into your car, but also strangers as well. Papers all over it. My GPS is all over the place. A horrible discovery. Both vehicles robbed. This man, who didn't want his name revealed, says he thought he'd left the cars unlocked until he saw this. It's terrifying. I actually was in shock, especially when I found out it was three guys. May 29th, 3.10 a.m., a person seen calmly walking up to the dark car before going in. Soon after, friends show up, not just one, but two. Right now he's taking some type of electronic device. I noticed he has some type of latex gloves on. Metro confirming thieves in the valley are going high tech, using a small device to break into cars without a key. A new phenomenon happening all over the country. Long Beach police releasing this video. You see the suspect walk up to the car. One second later, he's in. Look how fast his friend, who's hovering nearby, also gains access. The mysterious part about the Valley crew, head to toe, they're dressed in blue. The victim thinks he might know why. If they get caught, they could just say they're with Cox Cable or some type of company. And a warning now about those garage door openers. Many of us keep them in our car, but you want to make sure you don't do that so thieves do not have access into your house. Coming up on 13 Action News after the game, we're going to speak with our crime and safety expert and have more tips about how you can stay safe. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Thank you.